home on the range for a high-tech pioneer. And all the landscaping you see here, we didn't plant any trees. After years in California's Silicon Valley as a top scientist and corporate executive, Ren Zafiropoulos settled in this picturesque mountain valley near Cedar City. At 83, Ren is full of passion. You can see it in his many hobbies around the Diamond Z Ranch. His cars. This has about 80,000 miles. He's an elaborate woodworker. So this is what you call segmented wood turning. Here's one of his handcrafted classical guitars. He's a musician too, but his favorite, these giant, powerful English Shire horses. I saw them and thought that this was a horse and I had no idea what we would do with them. And then we had two and then we had four and then we were breeding. All this makes for a fascinating story on its own. <laughs> Excellent, nice picture. But his work as a groundbreaking physicist and his profound contribution to the high tech world is an all American success story. Wren, who is Greek, grew up in the Suez Canal area in North Africa. He attended a Greek university, then immigrated to the U.S. in 1945, where he got a degree in physics. Even as a kid, Wren always wondered how things worked. And my father offered me a cabinet maker's bench, and I've always had a job. I've always built things. It was that fascination and his scientific ingenuity that eventually connected him in one way or another to some of the biggest technological projects ever. He helped build vacuum chambers to test astronauts before Sputnik. He was involved in the development of hydrogen bombs. So we had a special pump that was put on a plane that as soon as the bomb went in Christmas Island, it would go through the cloud. The valve would open, suck the air in, and then we send it to Washington, D.C. for it to be uh, examined. In such a high-profile field, Wren crossed paths with Nobel Prize winners and the greatest physicist of all. In walked in, this guy with a light blue sweatshirt, baggy pants, boots, and earmuffs, and it was Einstein. <laughs> and I thought I saw God. To this date, Ren Zafiropoulos has 29 patents on different inventions. But it was this, the copy machine, where he really made his mark. Back in the 1960s, he helped develop the electrostatic process. So what is electrostatic process? Well, that's what helps the ink stick to the paper. And that process is still in use today, and as we know it, it changed the business world. With that technology, Wren co-founded Versatech in 1969, which became the leading producer of electrostatic printers. Later, his company merged with Xerox. Wren discovered he was more than a scientist. He set a new standard in the industry as a manager. We didn't beat up anybody. We're not authoritarians. We let people grow like plants, and if we have a camellia, we put it in the shade, and we have a rose, we put it in the sun. His companies thrived with very little turnover. That was the best thing I've ever done. He's retired now, sort of. Life is very busy at the Diamond Z Ranch. That's a rather big size. <laughs> The crowning achievement for Wren and his wife, Ree, are their huge English Shire horses. This was a um, quarter horseshoe off of my quarter horse, and then this is off of the Shires. Days of 47 going down the hill, it's pretty exciting if we didn't have that on there. They're a breed developed in England, but go way back to the days of the Roman conquest. One horse can weigh 2,000 pounds or more. Ren and Ree travel across the country to introduce their horses to crowds of people at rodeos and parades. Along with the horses at Diamond Z Ranch is an eye-catching display of beautiful wagons and carriages that Ren has built and restored. His fondness for the Old West might explain his deep appreciation for the entrepreneurial spirit of this country. My fortune is to be in a country where you have the opportunity to perform. And in so many ways, he has embraced that opportunity from the personal things. And you have the glasses here. Like his woodworking, to growing lemons in Utah. It cost me a fortune <laughs> to have four lemons a year. 
<laughs> but it's his lifelong contributions to technology that make Wren Zafiropoulos a rare pioneer of progress. All you need to do to succeed in this country is to have a good plan, being able to implement it, and most of all, to be honest.